So, it's fight week, ladies and gentlemen. We have the return of David Hay, the haymaker, after somewhat three, four, five, six years. Um, and um, he's coming back against Mark Demore, Mark Demore, whatever he's called. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this fight because I personally am a fan of David Hay. I think he was great as a cruiserweight and um, he was a good heavyweight. Um, and obviously, you know, he's been out for some time, so it's good to have him back in the game, especially now where the heavyweight division is looking really exciting. We've got Tyson Fury. We've got um, Anthony Joshua. David Hayes back in the mix. We've got Joseph Parker. Um, we've got King Kong Ruiz. We've got so many people up and coming in the heavyweight division that we're seeing a resurgence of the division. And look out for an up and coming post um, about the heavyweight division coming up shortly. So just want to touch base on Mark Demore and um, the sort of fighter he is. I've never heard of him until now, to be honest with you. But um, I think um, it's quite a good choice for David Hay because he's ranked um, in the top 10 by one of the sanctioning bodies. I think it's a WBA um, and um, it's good for David Hay because if he beats somebody with a pretty good ranking, then it catapults him um, pretty well. So it's good for David Hay. I don't think that this guy should be ranked within the top 10, to be honest with you. No disrespect to any professional fighters. I respect every person who gives it 100% and who has the guts to step into the ring. You know, amateur, professional. So, um, you know, anybody really, to be honest. Um so yeah, I'm looking forward to the fight. He's undefeated this Demori in 11 years. So that looks pretty impressive. But if you look at the caliber of opponents he's fought, then, you know, it doesn't look that impressive um, when you scrutinize and look at the opponents that he's he's fought. Um, so he, I think the most famous person he's fought is Alex Leopai. He's a heavyweight um, who fought Vladimir Klitschko. And Vladimir Klitschko beat him convincingly. Um, and they fought to a draw. Um, and Alex Leopold isn't a wonderful heavyweight. So it pretty much says quite a bit about this Mark Demori. So personally, um, it's good for he David Hay in terms of the ranking. Um, and I think David Hay beats him um, within two, three, four rounds. It's going to be a very short fight. And it will tell us a little bit about David Hay and how he um, is looking because he's been out for three years and we know the history of David Hay. He fought <clears throat> uh, the Klitschko, uh, Vladimir Klitschko and blamed it on his toe. And then what happened after that, we all know that he had the um, street brawl or the studio fight with um, Derek Chisora. And then after that, he beat Derek Chisora convincingly, pulled out of those two fights with Tyson Fury. Um, and since then, he's been out for those three years. So it's good to have him back. He was getting a lot of media attention lately. He's talking about how he wants to fight Anthony Joshua in 2016 and this and that. But to be honest with you, realistically, I don't think that Anthony Joshua is going to fight David Hay in 2016. I think it's very unrealistic of David Hay to say that. But I think if he throws out names like Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, he needs to be associated with those individuals because they're the big names in the heavyweight division. So he needs to come out and say, right, these are the people I want to fight. These are the people that I want to be in the mix with. And if he mentions those names, it's good publicity for him and he's calling them out. So it's very good because David Hayes, a sort of fighter where he can be out for a long time, but because of his name and because of what he's achieved, there's always that feeling or that buzz about him that, you know, can he emulate what he did in the past? It's only three years. It's, it's a long time, but at the same time, it's not, especially when you consider somebody with that talent. So <clears throat> I think David Hay is unrealistic to say he fights Anthony Joshua in 2016, but I think that is a very, very... A potentially tasty fight between two um, of the British heavyweights. Personally, I think if they fought tomorrow, David Hay beats uh, Anthony Joshua. If he's anything like the David Hay we all know and like, um, he will beat Anthony Joshua. I think David Hay's too explosive. He's really fast. He's very powerful. He's very, very good. And I think um, Anthony Joshua is a bit one, too one-dimensional for, for um, David Hay if you want me to be honest, and I think David Hay beats him, but he's got a lot of work to do in climbing the ladder. Um, I would love to see a fight between um, David Hay and Tyson Fury. <clears throat> I think Tyson Fury said something recently where he was saying um, that he would rather vacate the belt 
then give David Hay a shot because Tyson Fury trained hard for those fights. Um, David Hay pulled out twice and it must be really, really frustrating for Tyson Fury. And I think that's why he's saying, you know, I'm not going to give this man a shot. I'd rather vacate and let him fight some, some bum or whatever, something along those lines. So I can understand where Tyson Fury is um, going at with this. Um, and I can understand his frustration there, but it's great to say, see David Hay back in the mix. It's in the O2 Arena, 16th of January. I have got my ticket, so I can't wait to go. The undercard isn't looking very good, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, Hay's back and it should be um, it should be a pretty good fight. I mean, obviously, because he pulled out of those two fights with Tyson Fury, the promoters don't want to touch him. Sky Sports, various other platforms and channels don't want to go near him because he's pulled out of fights and he's just too unpredictable. He spoke a lot about a comeback, making a comeback on previous occasions and hasn't done so. And I think people are not really um, uh, have that much confidence in him. And that's why <clears throat> you've got the um, the fight being shown free on channel Dave. Um, so we should be seeing a lot of reruns of that fight. Um <clears throat> after the 16th so i'm personally looking forward to um david hay comeback i think he beats this guy i think it's great for him um i think he's going to beat this guy and um you know he's going to have it'll be a lot more active um in 2016 he's got shane mcguigan who's a really good um trainer at the moment they seem to be working well together i went to the claire boarding show um and Tyson, sorry, and uh, David Hay was there, Barry McGuigan was there, Shane McGuigan was there, and the chemistry, chemistry between them was really good. So I think <clears throat> they work well together. And Shane McGuigan's a good young trainer, and he's got Barry McGuigan beside him as well. David Hay make a great team, and I think um, he's going to do well and he's going to come back. And personally, I think he, he beats um, Anthony Joshua. I think Hay beats Tyson Fury. I think he beats... Deontay Wilder and I remember watching David Hay speaking about Anthony Joshua when he was commentating commentating on the Dylan White um, <clears throat> Anthony Joshua fight David Hay <clears throat> was commentating and he was talking about Anthony Joshua and you could see the excitement in his eyes because he believed I thought so anyway I think he looks at Anthony Joshua and he thinks I can beat this man. I think he really believes it. And he looks at Tyson Fury. He looks at Deontay Wilder. He looks at the current heavyweight division and he thinks he's a league above. And I think that's why he's back. A lot of people have said that it's due to money issues. That's possibly the case, but um, you never know. I think that he's going to shock the heavyweight division and do really, really well. And, um, you know, we'll see how it transpires. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. This is Let's Talk Boxing signing out. Thank you for listening.